How is the National Education Policy or the NEP 2020 relevant for college students? The National Education Policy or the NEP 2020 seeks to modernize every part of India's education system, which has been in place for more than 30 years, in order to bring it closer to the highest international standards of education. This new education strategy for the 21st century new millennials has now received approval from the cabinet, which is led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Many authorities commend the new education policy, which is seen as a good example of education changes implemented in India. The Human Resource Development Ministry has been renamed the Education Ministry, and the strategy has also brought about large-scale transformative reforms in the K-12 and higher education sectors. Here are some highlights of the NEP relevant for higher education students. Number 1. Undergraduate Program A three- or four-year undergraduate degree will be available under the NEP 2020 with a variety of exit alternatives available during this time. Colleges must award certificates after one year of course completion in all subjects, including vocational and professional ones. Diplomas can be handed out after two years of study and bachelor's degrees after three years of study. In order to facilitate the transfer of academic credits from other institutions and the inclusion of those credits in the final degree achieved, the government will also set up an academic bank of credit. Additionally, this would prevent students from having to restart their programs from scratch if they had to withdraw from their course due to unavoidable circumstances. Instead, they may pick up from where they left off. Then, there are satellite college exams. A unified college entrance exam will be conducted twice a year by the National Testing Agency or the NTA. Number 3. No Affiliation Gradually increased degree granting autonomy will be granted to colleges in the following 15 years. These organizations will no longer be affiliated with universities and will instead be given the status of deemed to be university. Number 4. Cap on College Fees the National Education Policy suggests a plan to restrict the fees that private colleges can charge for higher education. And number five, going international. It will be easier for top colleges from around the world to visit India under this policy. Top Indian colleges will also be encouraged to expand internationally. The NEP 2020 policy will offer students a great deal of freedom and convenience. Even for the institutions, this is a necessary step to put them on a level with the international higher education institutions. The Academic Bank of Credit is a brilliant idea, and undergraduate students are sure to profit from it and the flexibility it offers. The National Education Policy 2020 makes an effort to address the majority of long-standing issues with the educational system. The instructors, students and parents who are involved can all agree that this is a historic moment. We can be certain that this is a new era for the Indian education landscape, though it will be interesting to observe how the rules of this policy are put into practice. If you like this video, do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.